Hello, super women. It's Trisha Lee in Alberta, Canada, and I've decided to share the part of my story about the most amazing and rewarding relationship that I've ever experienced in my life. I met this man over 10 years ago, and when I first laid eyes on him, it was like lightning had stricken, struck me. I, I felt this immediate connection to him. And he didn't notice me because he was up on stage playing, performing his music and pretty wrapped up in that. And once he came off the stage, I was there thinking, well, how can I meet this guy? He has something that, that I, I was attracted to and I wanted to meet him. And all of a sudden my friend jumped in and was like, oh, this is my, my friend and introduced us. And I was like, oh, wow. And the thing about him was though he was extremely overweight, obese. And... Um, I sat and had this amazing conversation with him and then I went rushing to my friend's place who was babysitting my son and she was also in university studying to be a dietitian and I'm like, hey, you're studying to be a dietitian. I met this guy, but he's really overweight. What can I do to help him? What kind of diet can we put him on? She's like, forget about it. He, only someone can change themselves. And then later on, um, he rented my dream home, a log house, and invited me to come live with him. So I was his roommate and and good, good friend. And the whole time I was looking for Mr. Right and I was sure he wasn't it because of this weight issue. And he actually was losing weight. He had been seeing a dietitian and, and working with his doctor beforehand that I didn't know about. So he was, I was watching this guy melting. And then he invites me to come and live in my dream home. And I was still resisting him. He would babysit my son when I would go date other guys and I had a, a friend, a mutual friend of ours say to me, the guy lost a hundred pounds for you. What more do you want? And I was like, no, no, no. He didn't lose that weight for me. That was for his own health and well-being. And what are you talking about? And it was, there was this moment and he said to me, you are a God to me. And that was it. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> okay. Surely out there on my search for Mr. Right, I met guys that were better looking, in better shape, that had more money. But when he said those words to me, you are a god to me or you are my god, something to that effect, it was like, whoa, what am I doing here? <laughs> um, of course, I, can, I, I could find someone that was more what my ideal was as a partner in life. But was I going to find someone that loved me and my child as much as this guy? And at that moment, I decided, no, it wasn't going to happen. None of these guys I had been dating treated me right. They cheated on me. They flirted with my friends. They, they, they didn't have good jobs or any way to support me and my child. Or they lived with their parents. Or it was, there, there were just a bunch of losers, a whole string of losers that I was wasting my time with. And so I finally realized... This is the guy, and now I'm. I've been with him in a relationship for many years, and we have a seven-year-old son, and we are so happy. We have a combined vision, and it's just an amazing experience to be on the same page, to share a vision for a future with someone, and I just love it. So that's part of my story. Thanks for watching. Go out there, make it great day, everybody. And if I don't see you in the future, I'll see you in the pasture or by the fish tank or who knows where I'll be next, Orlando maybe. So uh, subscribe to my channel and follow me on my adventures around the globe and throughout this life. And I want everybody out there to know that I am a huge, firm believer that in this life, anybody can be, do, and have anything they want. Or we can have everything we want. And I'm choosing everything, and I hope that you will too. So have a great day and thanks for watching. Bye, everybody.